Welcome back. You just joined, if you're just joining um, the press, you've not missed too much. We've just finished the newspaper headlines and now we've gotten to the part where we get to invite our guest analyst, of course, to analyze most of the headlines. With me in the studio this morning is Abib Gajo, a public affair analyst. Good morning and welcome to the program. <laughs> Morning, Missy. How are you? I hope I'm, you trust you had a restful I'm, night. Yes, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> and how is the economy treating you? Uh, <laughs> treating Nigerians. <laughs> All of us. All of us. Uh, <laughs> this one, nobody has an option of running yes, away or it something is, for now. It's only the weather that they cannot manipulate. Manipulate. <laughs> So <laughs> we are cool. Okay. <laughs> At uh, 24, 23, we go 24. FCT. FCT. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's um 24 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Uh, so so we are cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Now let's um before we get into the nitty gritty of today, um there's been a lot happening from the nations to um. Um, the punch, most of the headlines this morning is just talking about subsidy palliative. But then before we get into that, I'm sure, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to say we're excited that DSS has finally charged um, a Mayfield to court, given the number of days he has actually stayed there without trial. What's your take on this? Because, I mean, we have a rule of law in Nigeria. Should he have actually stayed in their custody for this long without um the, was it necessary for the court to actually come out to actually say if you don't charge him to court to release him did he have to get to that point are there no necessary things that are supposed to be put in place before you can even say you arrest someone on a normal day yeah um quite sure the uh the department of state security services in nigeria has already charged uh, mfla to court and the judge struck out the charges be, uh, based on some technical errors. errors yeah. You understand? Mm. At that time, the DSS was uh, uh, included the charges of terrorism, sponsoring of terrorism. Terrorism, and you do not have enough proof to actually uh, yes. back that up. Yes, yeah? yeah, so the court declined the. Uh, uh, the uh, the, um, the court order the court order to arrest him you understand so now that he was suspended and uh, he has been removed so his office his office is now vulnerable his former office is now vulnerable, now vulnerable for mm -hmm. all investigations so DSS will take their time to investigate and uh, come up with a uh, uh, a, a good charges that they can defend in the court. Okay. Uh, All right, before we uh, move forward, I'd like to tell our viewers at home that our phone lines are on, and of course, we can take your calls now and uh, free feel feel free to join in on the conversation. Uh, before we move forward, I'd like to let's, let's quickly go to what we can actually relate to before we can get to the National Assembly and the back and forth between them and the presidency. Um, food shortage, that's what the punch says. Um, Tinubu declares state of emergency, plants 500,000 acres farmland. Um, President orders year-round farming, releases fertilizer, Grains to farmers' households. Now, security agents deploy to farms as federal government plans transport concessionary loans for farmers. My question is it because the, um, the federal government is planning 500,000 acres of farmland? That's why they are deploying um, security agencies. Because why would you plan to have your own acres of land when the ones that we the citizens actually should have access to we cannot have access to them due to insecurity you see uh, uh, when when a government want to divert the attention of Nigerians from the real issues on Issue. ground mm -hmm. you understand so all this kind of uh, story they will cook up all this kind of story i'm i'm not going to be very critical about them but i will say i will, I will say the truth and i will uh, analyze it okay. the way it is okay. you see uh the government of uh the former government of uh, general muhammad buhari spent only good news all of us in, in nigerians don't know how much the the government ministry of agriculture 
water resources and uh, uh, central bank uh, agri intervention hmm. went in to that line in the name of steel food security. You, you know, there was, there was a time I was here. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's you and Olamideniko. Uh, I said the subsidy, I called the subsidy at that time a Tunumbu subsidy. Okay. But people don't understand what I meant by uh, Tunumbu subsidy. Okay. Because he just announced. I don't think he has a full knowledge of what is on the ground or how the economy was run or how uh, he don't know where the loopholes are. You understand? Mm -hmm. Or from where the roof is leaking. leaking. He don't know. All all the all the the narrative is that uh, subsidy is a fraud, is a scam. Uh, only few Nigerians are are benefiting. Uh, 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 this and that. And the few Nigerians that the government cannot investigate and arrest and try them and recover and, and recover Nigerians' uh, uh, money. You understand? Yeah. So that's that's a, a, a weakness of the government to push blame to a few people, a few people. in order to escape. You understand? Yes. Because this is an escape route. And let me tell you, no matter how Tunumbu put it on food security, I will gladly to, uh, tell him that Nigerians are not hungry. Nigerians have food stops. We have enough food in our country. You, you understand? In Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is a wealthy country. We, you can declare uh, uh, food security, emergency on food security, or you create something on food security when your country is in famine, drought, and disaster. But I, I think, um, maybe, sorry to cut you short, I think where it's coming from is um, starting from when there was Salah holiday, um, there's been tomato scarcity. I mean, we had reports on that, and I personally visited the market, and the basket of tomato was selling for as high as 10,000 naira. That's the normal dust, uh, the trash bin basket, which is a little bit overboard for most Nigerians. And I was opportune to travel to somewhere in those states as of last weekend. And then um, a little trash bin was going for as far as 1,500 naira, which wasn't so earlier on. Now you find people trying to cut corners and say, oh, okay, let's look for a way to uh, boycott um, tomatoes and now let's fall back on pepper and um, the satcher tomato, which is of course not so healthy for people given the rate of cancer going on right now, uh, considering yes. the processed food and all of that. So I think it, maybe that's where the presidency is coming from. But my whole opinion is, do you feel saying they are planning to um, bring another 500 acres of farmland should be the way forward, not um, looking for a way to tackle the present insecurities most of the farmers on ground even have? Because with 500,000 acres of farmland, you know, for the whole of Nigeria. Yeah. You see, that's where I'm going to. Okay. You understand? Uh, you can declare uh, emergency on food security mm -hmm. when your country or the continent is in, He's in drought. drought, famine, hunger, and starvation. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we are not in that line. The farmland, they wanted to... Uh, 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 give to Nigerians or uh, operate it as a farmland. Mm -hmm. You understand? To tackle the uh, uh, <laughs> shortage, the food shortage, so-called food food shortage. Sh shortage. You understand? Mm -hmm. They did it in Kebbi State. So you have you have you forgotten? Even mm -hmm. Lagos State government went and bought farm and f and 
farm rice and got the proceed. In Kebbi state, it happened in Jigawa state. You understand? Mm -hmm. Some state will come to where uh, 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 farms are and uh, either buy the farm or lease the farm. Lease the farm. You understand? Mm -hmm. and, and farm it. Lagos state did it and they realized almost how many how many million tons of rice in Kebbi state, mm -hmm. in Jigawa state. They have done it. We have seen it. You understand? So, uh, we, we it, well, let's see the initiative of the the yeah, land. The land. The, the <laughs> land, where the land is coming from. You understand? Yeah. Because even the land, it, it, the land is more, the farms are more expensive than whatever you think in Nigeria mm -hmm. today. You understand? But maybe they, they would uh, probably subsidize for them, given that it's coming from the federal government. Yeah. So, yeah. what they need to do, what the government need to do, is to block the the loopholes and the roof. You understand? Yes. So that there is no leakages. From there, they will now try to manage their economy by reducing uh, 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 the inflation. You understand? Mm -hmm. What is disturbing Nigerians is inflation. When you said you, bu you bought a uh, basket of tomato, normally during raining season, you understand? We used to have shortage. You understand? Okay. Of tomatoes. If, 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 if tomatoes. Okay. You understand? Okay. So, is inflation, we need to uh, 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 the government need to control the inflation rate so that it will be affordable for everybody. Now, you, the removal of subsidy and the palliative of 500 uh, 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 <laughs> billion billionaire billion naira. Messi, let me ask. So, 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 before, before we get into that, I like to be specific. I like us to be specific about the numbers. So let's take it from what Daily Sun said this morning. Mm -hmm. Federal government unveils subsidy removal incentives. National Assembly to get seventy billion naira. Then poor family eight thousand naira from five hundred billion naira palliatives. Now thirty five billion naira is marked for judiciary. Well, Atiku has said it's the continuation of APC scam. But do you yes. say, do you believe so? Yeah, I believe so. It's continuation of APC, APC scam. scam. Because they have, they have been doing it con consistently during General Muhammad You understand? It's not a new thing. Nigeria are aware of it. You understand? Mm -hmm. So no matter how they change the grammar or the vocabulary or the semantics, Nigerians still knows that this is what they want to do. The National Assembly to spend 70 billion in our own supplementary budget. The money that we are looking to pump into the economy. That's the, that's the leakages we are saying. Hmm. I think the only the only uh, 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 it's only FCT that need that uh, ten billion. Ten billion. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because they manage, they manage the the whole uh, 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 metropolitan. Metropolitan. Maybe for our viewers at home, let's let's brief them on. You understand? Yes, let's brief our viewers at home on what we're talking about. Okay, so what Mr. Abib Gadu is talking about is from the Nation's newspaper about the revised supplementary budget. Um, I like them to put the Nation's newspaper on the screen. Um, Five hundred billion naira for palliatives, one hundred and eighty-five billion naira to fix roads impacted by flood. 192 billion naira to fix farmlands destroyed by flooding. Uh, permit me to laugh. <laughs> 35 billion naira for NJC, that's the um, judiciary system. Then 10 billion naira for FCT project. Then 70 billion naira for National Assembly. What's your take on that? <laughs> uh, I've already, uh, you, you know, for, for uh, let's start from. Uh, 
the first one the palliatives 500 the, billion the palliatives okay. do you think nigerians need the palliative of 8000 naira if for example now if the, if i put a suggestion to you okay. maybe to crash the price of rice and beans let's say a bag of rice 20000 30,000, uh, uh, 15,000, 15, maybe beans also. Uh, uh, what again? Uh, then to credit only 12 million Nigerians with 8,000 Naira, which one is more sustainable mm. economically? So, you see, Palliative is just like a pup. Hmm. You know, pup, uh, pup yeah. <laughs> Akamu. Akamu. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. You drink it small time, it will still come back. You understand? Yes, yes. It's feeling at that particular yes. time. You, but then given you will still need it. Longer it. Run. Yes. Uh, so, that's palliative. Hmm. It cannot sustain the economy. What sustains the economy is a good economic policies with a good direction and focus you understand yes S that's what will reduce this uh, 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 inflation inflation you understand uh, yes secondly uh, the uh, the destruction of the five billion to fix roads impacted by flood yeah yeah we witness that uh, in Edo State, in Delta State, in Jigao State, in Bayelsa State, people died, uh, homes were destroyed, destroyed. Were people dis were displaced. Uh, and you understand? Mm -hmm. That one is justifiable. Uh, 192 billion naira to fix farmlands destroyed by flood and steel. <laughs> That's not justifiable. <laughs> because, uh, because all that <laughs> Let's quickly take this call. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for calling the press. Yeah, beautiful morning to you, uh, Messi, and then, uh, good, uh, good morning, Honorable Gajo. Yeah. You are on to SMB from Lagos. All right, SMB, mm. thank you for calling and uh, uh, joining uh, the conversation. You, thank you very much. Gajo, it's like you take cold water. I can hear your voice. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yes. uh, I wish you speedy recovery. It's like you have a cold there. Yes. Uh, thank <laughs> you very much. Uh, let me appreciate uh, uh, Captain TV for giving us this um, opportunity to see our mind. All right. Thank uh, you. We really thank appreciate and then. Uh, let me go straight to the point of issue uh, food security to the uh, state of emergency plus 500,000 hectares farmland. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you see, long ago we've been talking about we need to emulate a footstep of uh, a, a continuity in government. If we are talking about food security and so on and so forth, when we talk about uh, farming, farming consists a lot of things. There is livestock farming issue, you know, there is uh, animal rearing, seeding and so on and so forth. But let us, let me take us back a little bit. Somewhere, somehow in 2018 to 2019, there is issue of this Uga issue which has been rejected by so many state governors. Then the government of then set back aside and then set a committee under the National Economic Council Committee, which is uh, chaired by uh, Vice President uh, Yemi Osubanjo, according to the Constitution. And the CBN governor is part of that committee in, in, in accordance with the Constitution. So also, the 36, uh, 36 state governors are members of that committee. Now, they come up with what they call uh, a federal government livestock uh, initiative plan. Okay. You see, sometimes I ask myself, why are we keeping so many important things under the covers? Mm -hmm. Then we come up with something that at least Nigerian will can never tell you where to benefit from what they are coming to. Now, it's 8,000 naira for each and every house to, to, to 12 million houses. For instance, maybe you have at least, let's say, 15 in the family. Do you expect those 15 people in your family to get that 8,000 naira? Hmm. Hmm. Within a home, a single home. Do you expect that? Or at 
they determined that each and every house will get 10,000, that the house that has about 15 people or 20 people or even 30 something people? Look, we know, we agreed. There is long and short time plan in government. But the issue is we have to be realistic and we have to face the reality. What happened with the, the bandits that are that, that, that are thousand people before they go to the farm? Hmm. You know that you have to pay some ransom before you are allowed to go and make your seeds. Do you know you have to pay ransom before you even harvest your your seed? I mean your crops. So we have to be realistic. That is why we have the national assembly. To me, it's not okay just because Mr. President won on 500 billion just, just like that, Sorry. then the, 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 the assembly will just sign and approve for him. How many members get back to his own consequency and ask how many people get account in my consequency? Hmm. I don't know where you get my point. Yeah, okay. How many senators among the 109 senators get back to his own uh, consequency and ask how many people have bank accounts? How many local government has accounts? You understand? So, so many things which time will not permit me to go into details. But like I always say, the reality of this day comes likely from the way you think, the way you feel, the way you act, and the way you act. So mm -hmm. if really we mean to work uh, too well for this country, we have to act and act very well in a decent manner, in a polite way, in a way that everybody will benefit from the evidence of democracy we are talking about. Thank you very much. Thank you, SMD from Lagos. Yeah, thank you, SMD. <laughs> thank you, SMD. <laughs> yeah. okay. Have a great day. Let's quickly take this one call before we talk about. Oh, good morning. Thank you for calling the press. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Yeah, my name is Akim, calling from Lagos. All right, uh, Akim, joining on the conversation. Thank you, uh, Mr. Sajo. Good morning. Morning. I, I, okay. I hope I'm right, Mr. Sajo, right? Yes. Yes, yes correct. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think uh, I'm in the same page with uh, SMG. Is it SMG? SMG, uh, SMG. Uh, SMG, that's correct. Yes, yeah, exactly. I'm in the same page with almost 90% of Nigeria. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, I've been calling on this channel even before the election, in support of uh, President uh, uh, Ahmed Bola Tinubu, okay. because I have trust in him, and I believe he can do it. And when he started, he started with very good things, which have repercussions. Anyway, but for this single thing of that 500 billion naira, and the mode of sharing it, honestly speaking, if Mr. President if someone is not advising him there, this thing is nothing other than scam. That is all the fact. But let us not completely call it scam and wait and see maybe for a week how they are going to share that money. Because if the ah, for me as a person, I may not receive up to 200000 in a month. I don't need that their money. I don't need it, 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 $8,000. But the fact is that if sincerity is going to be done in that, I have people close around us here, guys that they don't have jobs, even those that are doing work. At least we should have the feeling that there are some people that collect it. During work, the Muhammad Buhari, they only told us that they share for 5,000, so to impact 10,000. You never know who collected what. So let them, let them come clean. At least as they say they are going to share 12 million Nigerians, right? Mm -hmm. We have websites. Let us establish it. Let us know the names of people that collected it. Let us have access very easily to be verifiable. Know how trust me across Nigeria that I will not know that somebody close around me collected that's, what yes. or who not. That's correct. So the last time is the same thing. So that's why we're saying, uh, sorry, the last thing, what we expected the government to have done is to have turned that money into transportation. We call in this channel, we, we thought they are listening. But what is in their mind, what they want to do is what they plan to do. That's what it is. On this, I don't disagree, I disagree with the president. It's very wrong. Hmm. Very, very long, wrong with the strong voice. In fact, if they can re retract back and return it to another, we don't want that money. Nigeria don't want it. It's down. 
Thank you. God bless Nigeria. All right. Thank you, Akin from Lagos. Thank you. That was a powerful contribution. What's your take on uh, both SND and um, <laughs> uh, Akin's contribution this morning? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, SNB uh, is a is a patriotic Nigeria, Nigeria. A, a hardliner. <laughs> yes, you yes, understand. That's yes, that's correct. He is a hardliner. You understand. Mm -hmm. He believes so much in Nigeria, Nigeria. and he believed mm -hmm. one day Nigeria, Nigeria would be, would, be, can, would can be, be fixed. fixed. Yes, and uh, I love that positive energy yeah. about him. Yes. Okay. Uh, all what he said, it is true. It happened during the former government. You understand, mm -hmm. and the lack of continuity and consistency mm. of government policies. You understand? Yes. W people that are coming mm. and sabotaging the government, the government. Uh, uh, good economic policies with this kind of small, small, petty, petty things. Mercy, today if they mm. give you to, if they give you 8,000 naira to support you, mm. how many days will it take you? If you break it, a month will it will will you able to spend 20 uh 200 naira you mm -hmm. naira every day and i i like i like his, one of his illustrations i said 15 people in the family yes. where would eight thousand naira actually get to mm -hmm. is is the is the is saying something the mm -hmm. second caller he even hit the nail mm -hmm. directly that Tunumbu started very well, you understand, but along the way, there is a diversion, a diversion again. again, you understand. So, if care is not taken, now that you don't have ministers, you don't have cabinet, you only have advisors, advisors. and he's still advising, uh, 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 appointing advisors, you understand. Mm -hmm. So, through that, you will not get a good... Uh, uh, substantive policies Policy. that will sustain the country. That's what happened to the government of uh, Muhammad Buhari. He spent eight years without, uh, eight months, seven months without appointing ministers, working with civil servants that don't even go back to their 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 villages the or villages. their cities. All right, please let's quickly all that out as we take this call. Um, good morning. Thank you for calling the press. Mama. Yes, please, your name and where you're calling from. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Please, can you speak louder? Calling from Okay, it's a code Ben Westgate. Thank you for calling. Please, can you tap away from your TV set or reduce the volume? Uh, we will reduce it. Okay, all right. Please join in on the conversation in 60 seconds. Please, oh, about this party, let's just be frank. Are you getting me? Yes. Getting now, if I they are going to do this thing now, let's see out of the 109 senators, now if you come to the cycle of this particular election that we just finished up now, like in my state, we have three senators. Okay. The one from zone C is a PDP. The one from zone A is APC. Zone B is APC. Now, if they put this thing into sharing, I mean, sharing formula for them now, you know why it's okay, they are going to follow up with their party members. Thereby, so many people will be dropped aside. Hmm. Let's just forget about sharing any palliative or what so called. Hmm. We don't have road now, we don't have security now. Everything is high, more especially because of the the, the, the expenses that all these road, road users are, are using. The road is not good. The oil is coarse. So everything it has gone up. People are suffering. Let them forget about sharing or not sharing. Let them put this in place. Put our road in order. Put our refineries in order. Put our pesas in order. All these things, when they come to be that, there will be a long job. Everything will be going seriously. And just forget about this sharing, sharing, sharing. 12 million. We are over 200 and something million. And you are giving 10 million, then you think you are settling the, the nation or the masses for what? That's not even It will never make any sense. The earlier, the better, as we are speaking now, we are making calls. Let them be watching, let the information be close to them. Let them just put our roads from being wasted now to 
the east, there is no road. This football state of the so no road. I, I don't even know how the law is even used to escape with all this heavy, heavy loot. Both Akko, Rice, Yam, so many of them are falling. I don't know whether they even send all this TV uh, station to view how the road is. Is it because they are using jeep or they are, they are flying the air? Let them come and see our road. There is no road from here to the east, no road. From east to the west, there are no road. If you are from 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 Paradia, to that Jeva, no road. Hmm. It's because of all this road problem that we are having all this kidnapping and you can't there are places that you don't when the, when you see that it's so quiet, you need to move fast. You hmm. can't move. Within a click of, of an eye, they will stop the vehicle and pack everybody to the bush. Then they forget about this sharing sharing of the thing. I don't even want to hear. I don't need them. I don't have hope. I don't need that money. Let them use the money. It's like it in something that will make sense to the entire nation. Okay, all right. Not by sharing that they will give it to all their people alone. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Just to add to Thank what, uh, just to add to what um, he has said. I mean, let's take a look back at the palliatives they uh, were supposedly supposed to share during COVID nineteen that didn't actually get anywhere until people bombarded the warehouses in Lagos. That's like a perfect example for what uh, palliatives. Those palliatives were a lot, and they were supposed to be shared. And now, what is the assurance that this would actually even get to 12 million Nigerians, which is, of course, not even 10% of the number of people we have in Nigeria right now? You know, uh, the last government uh, of, uh, of General Muhammad Bari and uh, Yemi Osibanjo. Yes. I think Yemi Osibanjo, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, the vice president, the former vice president, the former vice president. went to market distributing money cash in hand hmm. the government introduced uh, uh, what they call uh, empower empower who they empowered no well, i heard some people got um, from that empower but then the less uh, the five thousand air parts i'm sure because, because nobody has um, uh, if, if nobody has anybody at least if you didn't get there should be someone that knows someone that knows someone that should have gotten yeah. that because when you put a, a, a job embargo okay hmm. and you create a empower is 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 more of like casual hmm. you understand yeah which office are you going to go because there is no office of uh, um, uh, empower. Empower. There is no offices. You understand? Mm -hmm. If you take from uh, uh, General Abacha up to uh, 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 President, former President Gulag Jonathan, if you look at Abacha created PTF in order to sustain the economy, the economy. and the development of the country uh, uh, by saving from the subsidy by saving from the subsidy now um, uh, Obasanjo came and transform it with uh, uh, um, NAPEP hmm. today we still enter KK NAPEP <laughs> Dwaren Abacha Marwa Bubu Marwa introduce uh, KK, the name it KK Marwa, is still there. That's what Nigerians need. So we need a long term thing, not yes. just a short term. You understand? When good luck came, he also created Shopee. When he wanted to remove the subsidy, uh, 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 this the same government stage against protest against his government. Uh, uh, with uh, so-called Occupy, Occupy Nigeria. Nigeria, they don't know that they have occupied themselves. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you understand? So he created Shopi. Today, if you go to hospitals, you see Shopi hospitals. You see Shopi clinic. You see Shopi. We still have Shopi uh, uh, mass transit buses. We, ha we have seen Shopi uh, constructed roads and so on. You understand? Mm -hmm. And people work there. And people who aid. You understand? And people moved from those uh, 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 agencies to the main ministries and uh, 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 department and agencies 
of the, of the country. So that's how to recruit the young people into the government. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's how you lay down your your program. Let me. I, I sometimes I don't want to give example from the foreign country. Okay. You understand? But this time is uh, uh, is very uh, uh, important to. To, to, to mention that so that Nigerians will understand how capitalist economy operates. They operate in a very civilized and modernized manner. manner yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. They privatize everything. Government don't have anything. The federal government of United States of America has uh, controls only NEMA uh, 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 agency, SWAT, uh, the military, uh, uh, FBI, and so on and so on. Those are the things. All the rest are in 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 in, in, uh, in the state and local governments. You understand? Mm -hmm. So they spend less while they pump more into the economy now you will say america is a pure capitalist state, capitalist state but yeah. you don't know under is a socialist system hmm. take china as an example china is an eco uh, uh, communist country but they operate uh, capitalism hmm. In, in the other world because they need money to come. That is why they produce, they keep producing. That is why they, they are going all over the world doing projects and so on and so forth because they need the money. That's, cap that's capitalism in disguise. Let's speak about but, uh, speaking but of inside okay. is socialism. Well, speaking of capitalism, sorry to cut you short. Let's let's quickly um, take a dive into um, what one's expectation was when the first subsidy started. I mean, a lot of persons were saying the removal would have happened whether it was Peter Obi or Atiku that actually became the president. But then some other sections said, oh, the money for the first subsidy would have been better used for something else instead of the for subsidy rights. And now, one of the caller mentioned um, transportation. Do you think, and now there's equally been an increase in price for vast, uh, Nigerian University's um, tuition fee right now. So my point is, where is this money actually going to? We are not seeing it for transport, we are not seeing it for education. Rather, we are seeing 8,000 there for 12 million families, which would need to, or if you ask me, if to better not go anywhere. But what is your take on this? Don't you think transportation, education, and other viable places where we can actually see all these things work together, where this money could have been pumped into? Uh, you see, uh, the transportation system mm -hmm. has already collapsed in Nigeria. Hmm. Completely. Even the Lagos State Government that has organized uh, transport, transport system scheme, yeah. by BRT, mm -hmm. Today, BRT will not afford to diesel hmm. or to power their buses to their destination because the cost of diesel. Yeah, maybe that's why they improvise. Now they have electric train. <laughs> one. Secondly, hmm. I give you an example of what uh, 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 PTF, uh, PTF NAPEP, NAPEP, FIP, yeah. and uh, yeah. you know, these are, these are the things that will revive the, the transportation system. And all over the world, transportation is being subsidized. You understand? Mm -hmm. Energy is being subsidized. Inclu People don't know that uh, 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 the uh, fuel is also energy. Energy has to, or must to be uh, 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 privatized, uh, um, uh, subsidized in order for local manufacturers and manufacturers 
and small medium enterprises to to strive you understand mm -hmm. and reduce the burden of unemployment job loss uh, criminality yeah. and and so on and mm -hmm. so forth you understand yeah. but it is so unfortunate the, fo the focus of the government any government that co the first focus is how are we going to get money mm -hmm. how are we going to spend money, money. you understand mm -hmm. they were always looking how t from where they will take and from where they will spend spend you understand mm -hmm. now buhari spent eight years borrowing hmm. and up till today we don't know how much buhari left in, in reserve <laughs> yes in our reserve that's even if we have one now <laughs> if you compare it with the uh, with the loan it's a zero for a uh, reserve now Tunumbu, President Tunumbu now came in and started with borrowing. So, how how our leaders think? You, you understand? Mm -hmm. It 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 is it's so so much uh, uh, difficult to understand how African leaders govern their countries or rule their countries or because they are rulers <laughs> not <laughs> governors yes but they don't govern they don't govern the countries <laughs> you understand mm -hmm. so if you look at mm -hmm. all now look at the market this 800 million dollar that we are talking it was a proposal from president Muhammad buhari is Muhammad buhari that requests from the senate to the Senate to prove to approve eight hundred and one million dollars. Eight hundred and one million dollars at that time before the devalue my Naira at the rate of uh, four hundred and forty is almost fifty million household. Hmm. Now that they, they have devalue Naira, Naira to six hundred and sixty five. So it would have been better for us to take uh, from Buhari's regime than this present administration now. You see, the, uh, uh, there is no, there is no better. All of them, <laughs> Panadol is just a relief. Just <laughs> you understand? You take yeah. Panadol, you, you get relief. Mm -hmm. But the, the 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 honest things they will do. Okay. You understand? Yes. Is to power Nigeria with energy. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh, education and uh, agriculture science and technology let us invest let us harness those young uh, those th sets, you yeah. understand mm -hmm. so that the, when the young people are coming up they don't care about government they, 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 well, like when i was growing up i don't know there is a government <laughs> all right thank yes. you very much because I, I, I will go to farm yeah. i will go to market i will go to school it's just easy for you from here to there and yes. then you really be up of the yeah, you understand all right <laughs> so, so so let the government uh, 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 be very objective to nigerians you I understand like and come come clean with their good policies let them have let them focus on what they are going to do and what they are going to achieve. All right. Thank you, Honorable Abib Gadjo. Thank you so much for um, being with us on the press this morning. Trust me, it's been an insightful one, and I'm sure um, our viewers at home have learned a lot. Well, our viewers at home, you've read, um, you said, let the government be objective. I'm sure most of the politicians and, of course, the federal government is watching right now. So this is where we leave it for the press for this morning. I remain Messi Babadide. See you same time, same station next week. Bye.